pack your bags and leave. You don't even got to tell them. Just go. You know, because you're going to have another blowout. You're going to want to argue. Just take off and leave. This is Chandelier. Keeping it real. Hello, this is Chandelier. Keeping it real. Back on my YouTube channel. For you men and boys. Family and friends. Cousins, aunts, nephews, grandmothers, grandfathers, mothers, everybody, your co-workers. Tune in if you like. I got another beautiful talk statement for these men and these boys. Stop thinking about the years with the person. Think about getting out. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Because it's different time zones all over the world. Okay? So I'm going to get right into it. Men and boys, you don't got to stay with a narcissist woman. Okay? Just because you got some years with her. You don't got to stay with a narcissist woman because you got two, three, or one child with them. Okay? It is something called visitations. Okay? So make sure that you run and keep running and don't look back. Go to a safe haven place. You know, your parents, a best friend, a cousin, an aunt, somebody that can help you get up out of that narcissistic relationship because they'll boohoo and cry. They'll tell you sweet nothings in your ear just to keep you. Not that they want you. They just want to keep you because you is an asset to them. You know, you're doing everything for them. You're paying their bills. You're buying their clothes. You're buying their jewelry. You're buying the food. You're paying all the bills. Light bill, gas bill, water bill, wherever you at. You know, they don't care. They parking in their ass, keeping their ass in their baking cow. Because that's how some narcissist women do. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Like I said, I don't get up on my platform and speak what I don't know. You know, I know this for sure. Okay? Believe me when I tell you. You hear my name, right? Chandelier keeping it real all day, every day, 365 days a year. Okay? All I want you men and boys to do is just be safe. You know? Don't let the nonsense person get in your ear like that to try and keep you. And they don't want you. They don't want to see nobody else with you. They're selfish. They're self-centered. It's all about them. Lord, you around, foot and they bills, that's all they care about. You know, they don't care. They'll use you for a babysitter. I heard people say that. I just use him for a babysitter. So they don't really care about you. Oh, he's paying my bills. He's doing this for me. He's paying my, my tuition. He's paying me to go to school. He's giving me money for this. He's giving me money for that. I can keep my money. They brag to their friends. And then they have their friends looking at him like he's crazy because he's talking about her own husband or her own boyfriend to her friends on the job, outside of the job, to her family. And have the family looking at him side eye. Have the friends looking at him side eye. You know? But they don't really know half of the truth. Because them four walls, what happened in them four walls, nobody don't know but the man or the boy and that woman or that girl that they with. They only see, hear one side of the story, and that's hers, and they'll go on that. You gotta stop believing what these narcissist women say and hear the other side of the story from the, from the young man and the, and the gentleman. Okay, don't take word of mouth with these narcissist women because that's all they want to do is build a pity pat platform for themselves. And they look at him, you know, because you got everybody in her corner Looking at him crazy, even the brothers, the sisters, the aunts, the cousins and stuff. Looking at him, trying to turn everybody against this man. You know, you got to go hear his side of the story if you want to tell it. But sometimes he can't tell it because she'll get mad. She want to silence him, you know. But he got to get somewhere where he could really tell his true self, tell his story to his family and friends. That's why I said... Men and boys, don't stay in these relationships with these narcissist women. Don't waste no more time. Don't waste a day, second, or hour with these women no more. You know, it's easy and said to done, but you could do it if you put yourself first. You could do it if you love yourself. You could do it. Believe me.
Because I know, okay? Don't sit in no relationship like that. Especially when you're not happy. You're sad. You're depressed. You know? Don't sacrifice your happiness. Okay? Don't be sad. They're happy. They're getting what they want. They don't even care about your feelings. They don't even take your feelings in consideration at all. All they're thinking about is them. You're so sad. You know? You're unhappy. Your heart hurt. You can't eat. You can't sleep. But they run around here. They're happy. You know? They're going out buying them stuff. They getting ready to go out. They getting ready to do this. You know, they sneaking in stuff that they bought from the, for themselves. You know, the man don't know, but everybody else know. But then they think the man don't know, but the man don't found out that you bought that outfit and you hid it. Like he don't know. Come on now. People know you. You know, they know the way you act. They know your aura changes. You know, they know how everybody acts. Especially if you've been with a person for a long time. You know that the attitude will change, the way they do things will change, you know, your, your schedule starts changing up, your routine starts changing up. People watch, look, observe. Just because people don't speak on things all the time, trust and believe me, men and boys. Trust and believe me. People don't say what they see all the time. They just watch, look, and observe, you know. You got to pay attention to the narcissist women that y'all with. Don't say nothing. Just watch and, and look and observe. You know, it, ain't, it don't always got to be that they cheating on you or something. It's just things that they put in order for themselves. You know, because they want to be the one to leave. They know the relationship is toxic because they made it toxic. Now they want to leave, leave you high and dry. Leave you out to hang out and dry now because they don't establish themselves, they don't build themselves up, you know, they're a little financially stable, you know, so they think they rich, but you still on a real budget with a champagne taste, so go sit down somewhere, you know, you think you all that. No, you're not, because just like you got it, it could be ripped away from you, because God don't like ugly and care less about pretty, and He, and he, 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 he punishes. The, the, the ill will people. That's time to do ill to other people. You know, you don't do that. You get a man to build you up. Then you ready to run out and leave him high and dry. That's why you men, y'all gotta have a job in your back pocket. You know? You gotta have a bank account in your back pocket. You know? You can't let them know everything. Like my mother used to say, you can't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing. So you gotta have your bank account for yourself. Established, ready. Go and search and look for apartment, look for houses, start saving and save and save and get your place. So when they want to act up, you can just leave. Drive right over to your apartment, drive right over to your house, pack your bags and leave. You don't even got to tell them, just go. You know, because you're going to have another blowout, you're going to want to argue, just take off and leave. You know, or do the right thing, call the police. And have them there so you could, you know, retrieve all your things, all your items, your clothes and stuff, and leave. You don't never have to see her no more. You'll see her in court when you're going for your visitation rights. That's it, and that's all. You know, don't waste your time be arguing and bigging with them and stressing yourself out. You getting sick, you can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't, you know, perform on your job correctly. The boss asking you, is everything okay with you? Because people will see when you're sad and upset. You know, because they see that you can't perform on your job properly. You know, don't let nobody get you down like that and, and persuade you to stay in a toxic relationship. And you know that's, that stuff is just toxic. You know, hazardous for your health. You, you breathing in toxicity, making you sick. That's poison. You got to get rid of the poison. You got to flush it down the toilet, get rid of it. You know, don't be letting nobody inject no poison in you. That, that's poison. Come on, men and boys, wake up. You know, you can love a person, and I know it's hard. You know, I know y'all probably seeing what Shannon Leah talking about. I just can't jump up and leave her. I'm in love with her. Oh, I got two, three, four, five kids with her. You know, we established. We got all these years. Like I said, don't be counting the years. Think about how to get away. You know? We all had to do it. We all had to leave somebody, and we put years in with them. Don't think about it's a loss, it's a learning lesson. 
You know, you got to think to yourself. You, sometimes we got to sit to ourselves and think, are we really losing something? Yeah, we had some good days with them and some good years with them. We ain't going to say we all had bad days with these toxicity people, these narcissist people, okay? Because we did have some good days, some good weeks, some good months, you know, some good hours, you know? But the majority of it was toxicity, though, you know? But when we did have them good days, it's because they wanted to be pleased, you know? We was making them happy. We was doing what they wanted us to do, you know? Because if we don't, then they get mad at us and say, why are we acting up? What's wrong with us? You know, they want to put it on us, and it's really them. Don't let them trick your mind up to stay in a toxicity relationship, you know? Just, just, call, it, just call it what it is. Just be going. Just be like, well, I learned from this one. And that's how you got to do it. Well, I learned from this one, this one, and this one. It's always a, les a lesson learned with each individual that you come in contact with, that you think you're going to build something with, that you think you're going to build something with that's going to last forever for eternity, and it don't because then they show their true colors, and then they start unfolding them layers, you know, like an onion. You peel back the layers, so they start showing their true self. You know, they let their guard down. They get comfortable with you. If then you see how they really are, then you'd be like, okay, I love this person. I got a couple of kids. Even if you don't got kids, it's just you and her. Okay, I love this person, you know, but I feel I can't leave her. You know, you can leave her whether you got kids or it's just you two, you know. It's never too late. You'd be like, you got to sit them down if, they, if they're willing to talk. Sit them down, because some people don't know how to talk to people. They want to yell and scream and, you know, make a scene like you jumping on them and stuff because you telling them the truth. They don't want to hear it. That's a narcissistic person. They want you to listen to them, and that's it. They don't want to hear how you feel, your thoughts or feelings. They just want you to listen to them. Just be quiet. Listen to them. No, you got to learn to listen to other people, narcissistic women. Sit down and learn to listen to not just your mate, not just your husband or your boyfriend, but you got to listen to your friends, family, cousins, aunts, uncles, you know, whoever's trying to tell you the right thing, you know, to get yourself together. Especially if you want a man in your life. Ain't no man going to stay with no narcissist person. Ain't no man going to stay with no Jezebel, no demon person. Look it up, okay? Read your Bible, okay? When you run around here hurting people, physically putting your hand on people, you know, you're using objects, hurting people. That's demonized. You is a Jezebel. So don't say you're not. You are. You don't want to admit it, but you're a straight Jezebel. Straight from the pits of hell with Lucifer, Satan, and he's using you. Get help for that. Stop hurting people. Stop being demonized. Stop waking up in the morning thinking, how are you going to get to this man? What you going to do to this man? How you going to make him listen? You know? How you going to withheld the, 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 the thigh game from him? Then you worry about when you going out there getting thigh. You know? Stop doing stuff like that. That's demonized. Then when he decides to leave you all together, then you're nervous. You're crying. Oh, oh, oh if you want to be with her and all these years together. You know? And then as soon as you come back. Then you, then you do all type of stuff to him all over again and stress him out to death till he's not even here no more. That is so disgusting. That's beyond demonic. You know, they want to sit up and have the nerve to pretend to cry in front of a congregation of people. Come on. We see right through you. We know who you are. You know who you are. And you know who you are. You're a demon. Demonic. You're hitting you're talking down to him. You're talking about his mother. You're talking about his father. You're talking about his cousins, his aunts, his uncles, his nieces, his nephews. You're talking about his family. That's why you can't be in the presence of his family. Because that's called two-faced. So, of course, you don't want to be around his family. His family is lovable. Nobody's family is perfect, but his family is lovable. They'll give the show off their back. They'll give you a place to stay. They'll give you some food. You know, you got the nerve to talk about somebody's family like your family perfect. Come on now, we don't want to get into families because everybody know everybody's family and everybody know what everybody's family been through and what they're going through and what they did. 
okay? Stop talking about people, folks, because that's not nice neither. Because you got an ill will against the man that you with. If you hate that man, can't stand his guts, will he disappear? Then walk away. Be a woman and walk away from the relationship. You know? And then go get therapy. Don't jump in another relationship. Because the man, the next man that you get, he gonna see you right through you. Your Jezebel, your demonic spirit, your narcissist woman. They gonna see right through you. So I said they good judge of character and their mother and father taught them what to look for in a woman, you know? Cause I know I know a lot of boys, you know, because y'all was boys first, a lot of boys. You know, the parents taught them, you know, how to treat a lady, how to treat a girl, you know, but not to get dogged out and walked on. Yeah, treat her kind, don't hit and all that, but the woman, she got to know too to keep her hands to herself because she loved to hit, loved to throw the hands. And as soon as the man want to defend himself, oh, you want to run and get help. You want to run and threaten him. With family and all that stuff and friends and call the police on the man. But you run around here swinging on him on a regular. Get so used to it. Be swinging on him in front of their parents and stuff. Forget where you are because you've been swinging so good. Come on, stop doing that. You want somebody to stay with you. How you want somebody to stay with you and you acting like that? Men run and keep running. Don't look back. Don't look back. Just keep going. Save yourself. Get into a safe haven, you know? If you don't have no family or friends around where you live at in your area or something, you know, you know, talk to somebody that know where a safe haven is. Like I was saying earlier, they need to really build a lot of places for men because men, they um, just exclude men, you know? Just like on Father's Day. You know, yeah, we say we mother and father, but it is Father's Day. People forget about the fathers, what they do. You know, like, they get overlooked. You know, like it's a double standard. You know, because they men. So, they got to stand firm. They got to be strong. They can't cry. You know, they always got to be uptight. You know, no. There is human beings, too. They got mothers, too. They was carried for nine months, too. Just like little girls. They was carried for nine months, too. Okay? They got feelings. You know, they want to be loved, they want to be pampered, they want to feel adored, okay? People talking about they want to feel adored. A man want to feel adored too, you know? Everybody want to feel adored. Got the audacity. Everybody want to feel adored, want to feel loved. You know, come on. You want your ego stroked. You want the back rub. They want their back rub too. They want their toenails clipped too. They want their nails done too. Men go get their nails done. They may not get them polished, but they get manicures, pedicures, all that stuff. Okay? They don't just don't go and get, you know, clean shaved face and get the hair um cut nice and nice hairstyles. They want to um, feel adored and be pampered too. Come on now. It goes both ways. Just because they men, they human, they bleed blood just like a little girl and a grown woman. Y'all think y'all got robots? You know? Just because you have a man that may work one or two jobs or something. You know? Like he ain't got feelings. Like he can't come home and rest. You ain't got the house clean. No dinner on. He got to come home and, and cook dinner. Come on. He got to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's crazy. What you did all day? Get up off the couch. Do something. You know? Because... Relationships don't work like that. After a while, you get left. That's what happens because the man going to get tired. He got to come home and cook dinner. He got to come home and make bottles. He got to come home and change pampers. Come on now. Don't dog no man out. You're dogging him out. The man going to be stressed. He may not tell you that he's stressed out. He may not tell you that he's tired. He's going to do it because he loves his children. Come on, you can't do a man like that. A man is unhappy in a marriage. He get unhappy then. He get unhappy in a, in, a, in a court relationship. He may not tell you that he's unhappy in his marriage. He may not tell his brothers. He may tell his sisters, his cousins. Because a lot of men today is unhappy in their marriage. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. And I know some people that is unhappy in their marriage. 
and they're unhappy in their relationships, their courtships. And they're only there because of their children, because they don't want to leave the children now. So that'll be what it is, you know? They don't try for the marriage. Now they're trying for the kids. And once you try for the kids, you might as well just cut your losses and just pack your bags. Because you can't try nowhere else. Ain't no more area for the relationship, you know? You try for you and her, okay? Now you're trying for the children. After that, those two things, cut your losses, pack your bags, and run. You know? Like I said, don't think about the years that you've been in. Think about getting out of the relationship because it is toxic. And everybody on the outside looking in can see that it's toxic. When you think a person don't know what's going on, just because you don't tell nobody, people know what's going on. We know what's going on. You know? We just waiting for you to tell us so we can say, we already knew. We already knew. Okay? We're not gloating on your relationship to be on the downfall. We hoping for it to work out. We hoping for it to blossom and bloom. We hoping for everybody to have a nice relationship, a nice marriage, a nice courtship. You know? But sometimes with people, it just don't work because the other person's attitude. Because they think they're high and mighty. They think they're better than you. You're supposed to, you know, bow down to them. You're supposed to look up to them. You're supposed to do everything for them. But then when you ask them just to bring you a glass of water, they sucking their teeth and they got an attitude and, and stomping their feet. But they ask you for a glass of water. Oh, no problem. You'll get them a glass of water. You'll do this for them. You'll do that for them. Do this and that and the third for them. But my God, you ask them for something, the roof going to come off the house. Like, Really? Well, this is the type of relationship I don't want to be in. It works both ways, you know? Shoot, I scratch your back. I want my back scratched too. I want to rub down. I want to be oiled down. I want to be powdered down. I want a massage, you know? I want you to rub my hands, you know? I want a kiss on the cheek, you know? I want you to say, how was my day? Come on. You just want to be the center of attention. It's not about you. Some people think the world revolves around them. The world don't revolve around you. You revolve around the world. You're not it. You was never it. Yeah, you is it. You belong to Lucifer. You it to him. Because he's laughing at you every day. He always have you doing something every day. Even to your friends. Probably just met new friends and acting up with them. And they shine away from you. Don't want to be bothered with you. Because you want to be a center of attention. You want to be the shine at their party or something. Or at their gathering. You know? Won't even invite you nowhere no more. Because you think you it. Go sit down somewhere, you narcissistic woman. And men, keep running. Don't stay. Save yourself. That's why I'm doing videos. These segments. So y'all know. You know, I know what I'm talking about. She and the lid keeping it real know what she's talking about. So if the people that want to tune into my YouTube channels and listen to my segments, you more than welcome. For those that don't want to and she don't know what she's talking about and shut up and all that, that's fine with me. You don't got to. Keep going. You know, if it pop up on your thing, swipe it off. You're not hurting me. This is for the men and the boys. That want to listen to it. The men and the boys that's in domestic violence relationships with these narcissistic women. This is what it's about. It's not about you narcissistic women. It's not about you narcissistic women. It's about the men getting away from y'all. Okay? And then it's about the families that want to tune in to help their loved one. To help their nephew. To help their, their male cousin. Okay? To help their brother. To get up out of there. You know, even the mothers that help their they sons to get out of there. You know, even the fathers, you know, help the fathers get away. You know, and then the fathers help their sons get away. You know, then the cousins, the male cousins help each other get away. You know, it got to be a team effort. You know, you're helping each other. You're linking up to get out of these relationships that is going to hurt y'all and stress y'all out to death. Because that's what it does. Stress kills. That kill quicker than anything. Like I said, they have stress killing it. Okay? I do my research on stuff. Alright? Stress will kill you. 
All the arguing and the bickering, you don't got to hit nobody. Just the arguing and the bickering, it starts doing stuff to the body, okay? It starts messing with all the cortisones and stuff in the body, you know? And the body can't take it, you know? Heart palpitations and all that stuff. And that's why people have heart attacks, okay? That's what bring a heart attack on. I don't care if the person hit a, a heart condition, okay? It's due to stress that brings that on and the blood can't pump you know, quick enough through the veins and stuff. So it just accumulates, you know, like a sink clog up and then the, and then the water just overflows. So that's what happens. It, fl it overflows with the blood, okay? And that's what causes a heart attack. So people want to say, oh, well, he had a heart problem. Oh, oh, he died from a heart attack. But what caused the heart attack, okay? What caused the heart attack? Stress, arguing with the person. Okay? Getting physically hit. Okay? Being talked down to. Talking about his mother. Talking about his brothers, his cousins, his aunt. Accusing him of this and that and the third. Okay? Like I said, everybody had their flaws. Alright? But things causes a heart attack. And that's what happens. Men get out of these relationships. Because that stress is going to kill you. It's going to cause you to have a heart attack. To have a heart problem, but you can live with a heart problem. A heart attack can happen right then and there because you're stressed out, your nerves are up, your heart is pumping real bad, you know you're nervous, and you're crying and stuff, and you're trying to talk, and you're trying to breathe and whatnot, and the blood's trying to pump, and then it can't pump so fast, it can't pump it real, real, real good into the veins, and then it's an overflow, and you have a heart attack like that. You know, that stress will kill you. I know what I'm talking about, all right? And I hope everybody can take something out of this. You men, please, men and boys, take something out of this. Take this very serious. Take your health serious, okay? Your health is all you have. You only have one life. You only have one body. Take care of your body. Take care of your health. Take care of you. Put you first. Number one, put Jesus, God, and the Holy Spirit first. Then put yourself first. Everybody else got to be to the sideline. Yeah, you love them, but you got to love yourself more. You got to love yourself more. Men and boys, please love yourself more. Because that Jezebel, that demon, that narcissistic woman going to be like, Oh, it's like that? Oh, oh, are you going on? Are you doing this? Are you doing that? Yeah, you got to take care of yourself first. Yeah, even if you want to go meditate. Even if you want to go take your drive somewhere to nowhere. It ain't got to always be you got to go somewhere. Take a drive by yourself. Collect your thoughts to see what you're going to do with yourself. To get yourself worked out. Get yourself together. Because they don't care. Lord, they're getting what they want from you. You know? Clothes, jewelry, trips, this and that and the third. They do not care. They are selfish people. You got to put yourself first. You got to love yourself enough to walk away. You got to love yourself enough to go to the doctor, get yourself checked out. Make sure you're okay. Make sure your pressure is okay. Okay? You got to do these things for yourself because they're not going to do it for you. They don't care. If you perish, they're still going to live on. They're still going to do what they want to do. They're still going to take their trips. They're still going to go shopping. They're still going to hang out. They're still going to go to the club and be, and be twerking. They're still going to do them. You know, they'll put on fake tears, but they're still going to do them. They don't care, because they're happy. You know, that woman that don't got them, you know, Lord, the next one don't, 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 don't got them, they're happy. I can't have them, they ain't going to have them neither. They're happy. Come on now, men and boys, you got you to gotta get yourself together. Stop putting all the people before you. You know? And we really all got to sit and think. You know? Who do we love more? We got to love ourselves first. Because that's stress skills. Once we gone, we gone. Nobody's going to care. You know? Your family. That's it. Your aunts, cousins, mothers, fathers, grandparents. You know? Your very best friends. Those are the only ones that's going to be crying and mourning you for the rest of our life. For the rest of our life. Our entire life. We're going to mourn our loved one. We're going to mourn our sons, mothers, and fathers. We're going to mourn our sons. 
So this message got to get out to them. Mothers and fathers, talk to your sons to get out of these types of relationships. Keep running until you get to a safe haven place. Change your telephone number. Don't give them your address. But they have to assist it. They're going to keep coming. You're going to have to get an order of protection. Put the police on them to leave you alone. Because they mad because they want to leave you first. And then want to talk about you to their family and friends. Yeah, I had to leave such and such. I, I, I call you all kind of names and, and all that stuff. Call you out of all, all out of your names. Except your birth name. Call you everything under the sun. Except your birth name. Trust me, I heard it all with my son. Call him every name except his birth name, okay? Don't let nobody do you like that. Get out of these toxic relationships with these narcissistic women. Keep on running. Don't worry about the years that you've been spent with them. Worry about getting out. And with this, this is Chandler and keeping it real. And I will be back with another talk statement for you, gentlemen. And boys, okay, stay safe. Get to a safe haven, and she and Aaliyah will be talking to y'all very soon. Men and boys, family and friends, that's with your nephews, with your male cousins, with your sons. She and Aaliyah will be doing another talk statement. God bless you, and this is she and Aaliyah, keeping it real. Bye.